Good day, viewers. Welcome back to Claire Health Tip. I still remain open on the Claire Chiamaka. And as we all know, our channel is all about nutritional topics, lifestyle modification, as well as healthy diet. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the major problems majority of us are faced with. This problem is no other than overweight. In our last video, where we talked about lifestyle modification, I made mention of the healthy eating pattern that you can partake in or you can inculcate in your lifestyle in order to do what prevent overweight. But if you're overweight, not to worry, I've got you covered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post our next video. Our objectives for today are meaning of overweight, how to determine if one is overweight, the causes of overweight, and the modifications for overweight. Now, let's get started. What is overweight? Overweight means when one is weighing 10% and above more than the standard weight for the specific age, sex, or height. Now, how to determine if one is overweight? For you to know if someone is overweight, you have to use what we call the BMI which means the body mass index. Now, what is this body mass index? Body mass index means your weight divided by your height, all squared and in meters. Now, for us to know how to get this BMI, what we have to do is that we have to measure our weight using the weighing scale. Make sure that this weighing scale you're using is in kilograms. Now, after getting your, the value for your weight, you just keep that aside. Then you use your standiometer or you use whatever means, but make sure it's accurate to measure your height. After measuring your height, make sure that this height you're measuring is in centimeter. Then when you're done, the value for this height, you're going to convert it to meters. After getting this value for the height in meters, what you're going to do next is going to, you're going to square this value. Once you're done squaring it, then you divide your weight by this value, that's your height value which you've gotten. Now, after dividing it, you're going to get your final result. Now, this answer, you're just going to keep it. So, now, we're going to look at the ranges for BMI. There are different ranges to know when someone is overweight, underweight, or obese. If someone's BMI is less than 18, the person is worth underweight. Now, if that value you've gotten from your BMI is lower than 18, you know that you're underweight. And believe me, you need to add some weight so that you wouldn't be at risk of any kind of disease. When your BMI is from 18 to 24.5, you know that you are in a normal or standard body weight for your specific age, your specific height, and your specific sex. But when your weight is from 24.5 to 29.9, you are overweight. But if you're overweight, don't be scared, don't panic, that's okay. This video has got you covered. We'll tell you everything you need to know. For you to jump back to being normal or standard body weight you need to be in. Now, once once this your BMI is more than 29.9, that is 30 and above. My brother, my sister, you are really obese and you need to shed some of all those weight because you are you stand a risk of hypertension, high blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases and lots more. Now, we are going to be talking about the causes of overweight. There are four major factors that cause overweight. The first and foremost, the first factor that causes overweight is your eating pattern. If you have not watched my video on lifetime modification, I will drop that in the description box. Do well to listen to that video and watch it to the end because it contains vital information on the things you need to do, especially when it comes to eating pattern, in order to avoid overweight. Now, your eating pattern matters a lot when it comes to eating. As I said in my previous video, you have to eat in a way that is more slow and eat foods that are healthy and balanced. Another cause of this overweight, most importantly, is your genetics. People are prone to be fat because probably from their lineage or probably from their gene, from the parents, they have tendency of increasing in size. Another cause is your environment. The environmental factors like where you are living. Another cause of this overweight is what we call the physical inactivity. When you don't do act, um, physical activity at all, okay. this is very, very bad because physical activity will help you to be very, very agile. 
Or if you're someone that is sedentary, your work makes you not to walk around, you always stay in one place to walk all the time, you need to at least watch what you eat so that you will curtail the, the fat intake. Now, we'll be talking about the modifications for overweight. We have two modifications for overweight, which is lifestyle modification and dietary modification. Now, we'll start off by dietary modification. For your carbohydrates, 50% of the food you're going to be eating for a day should come from your carbohydrates. 30% should come from your fat, and 20% should come from your what? From your proteins. For carbohydrates, you should take at least 100 to what? 1,500 kilocalories a day. For your proteins, you should take at least 0.8 grams to 1 gram a day. And then for your fat, you should try to moderate your intake or at least restrict some fat intake, especially the saturated ones. Now, in terms of your what, fruits and vegetables, try to take a lot of fruits and vegetables. It helps a lot, at least to cover in for your what, essential nutrients you need for your body. Take a measurable amount of water. I said it in my last video. Please try and watch it on lifestyle investigation. You should try to take, for the men, take two bottles of ever can, that's one drop CL can, and then for the female, you take one big ever can, which is 100 cl, and one small one, which is 75 cl can. Your water intake helps a lot in your overall health because it's always good to stay hydrated. Another one is you have to try to stop, stop germs. It's not healthy. Instead, involve yourself in healthy snacking. Like you should take walnuts, fruits, and vegetables to snack, it helps a lot because all those junks you take, especially your snacks, your drinks, energy drinks, they have little to no nutrients to add to your system. Rather, they only increase your blood sugar level and only add more weight on you. The next, we're going to talk about lifestyle modification. This lifestyle modification, if you have not watched my last video, please do so. Lifestyle modification for overweight is that you have to try to check your weight. Constant checking of weight helps you to give, keep track of your weight. It makes you to know when you're adding and when you're reducing. Another one is you have to at least make sure that two thirds of the plate of food you're eating is coming from your vegetables and your fruits. Try to eat slowly. It helps a lot. Avoid galloping your food. I've told you the risk of galloping your food. It makes you to only eat more and at the end of the day, you eat more than you should. Now, another lifestyle modification you should put up is avoid watching film while what eating. It only makes you to do what? Be unconscious of the amount of food you're putting into your body, which makes you to add more weight. Another lifestyle modification is that you have to make sure that you are keeping to your what? diet plan keep to your diet plan try to do what to make a diet plan for ourselves if you don't know how to make a diet plan just contact the number on the screen we will try to cancel you on healthy diet and propose to you a healthy diet you need to be taking not to reduce or bounce back to the normal weight you should be in our target for this diet plan is that we are going to try to Fashion the diet plan in such a way that if you're going to reduce half to two pounds in a week, try to be what? Exercising. Try to exercise 15 to 30 minutes a day. It helps a lot. At least, even if you don't want to do strenuous exercises, you can do indoor exercises that are what? Slow and stable. And in no time, you'll see how much weight you have reduced. So, guys, I believe that we have learned a lot from today. Remember, weight reduction is a lifetime process. You have to be gradual. You have to take it easy. Don't try to reduce more than you should or less is going to have an adverse effect on your health. If you don't know how to make a diet plan, I will leave a number on the screen. You contact us so that we'll make sure that we cancel you and make a healthy diet plan that is fashioned for only you because we'll have to do some nutritional background check and also other causes of your overweight. And don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post our next video. Thank you and God bless.